Apple iPhone users, make room. Samsung's next flagship, the Galaxy S23 Ultra, is launching in February 2023 with upgraded capabilities and a brand new camera sensor. Details like people, hair, clothes, and the sky will be easier to distinguish and enhance on the camera of the S23 Ultra, thanks to the upgraded chipset. So buckle up, because we're going to talk about the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra rumors and incredible features dropping in 2023. 200 Megapixel Feature According to leaker Ice Universe's tweet, the 200 megapixel of Samsung S23 Ultra is too strong. It has unparalleled analytical power. It is stronger than all the 200 megapixel I have seen before. Though Samsung has high aspirations for this camera, the Motorola Edge 30 Ultra already has a 200 megapixel camera, so phones with massive sensors are not a unique idea. The S23 200 megapixel camera's increased color reproduction and AI algorithms will result in much better picture quality for the captured photographs. It's said that the 200 megapixel sensor does exceptionally well in low light situations, making it suitable for both still and video shooting. Again, per Ice Universe, it can be confirmed that S23 Ultra's night photos are very strong and much better than the S22 Ultra's. I think it's the biggest improvement of Samsung's flagship mobile phone in the five years. For Samsung fans, that's not all. The next premium model will also include a superior telephoto lens. A common method used by cameras is called pixel binning, and it's how a camera with 200 million pixels may take photographs with a lesser resolution. To put it simply, it lowers the sensor's resolution but increases the quantity of light collected by the sensor, resulting in brighter images. Also, there is yet to be much talk about any new video capabilities but we fully expect Samsung to match some of the enhancements made by rivals like the iPhone 14 Pro Max and the Google Pixel 7 Pro. Subscribing now will ensure you don't miss out on our hands-on video when it is ultimately posted, but it's much too soon to make any conclusions about the quality of the photographs. This new chipset will also bring some camera improvements, so stay tuned for more information on that. Anyway, we anticipate the primary camera to have the exact 108 megapixel resolution as the one seen on the S22 Ultra. However, according to rumors, the front selfie camera on the Galaxy S23 will have an increased resolution of 12 megapixels, an upgrade above the present resolution of 10 megapixels seen on the most recent versions of the Samsung Galaxy S22 and S22 Plus models. If this rumor turns out to be genuine, it indicates that Samsung will be upgrading the resolution of its front-facing camera on the Galaxy S23 for the first time in three years. Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 to announce that Samsung is joining Snapdragon Pro Series as the presenting partner for 2023. According to Qualcomm, the new platform's upgraded design in the form of a new hexagon processor helps speed up AI-intensive tasks like translation and camera functionality. Qualcomm notes that new camera features will be readily implementable with these improvements. With the world's first cognitive image signal processor, Qualcomm unveils its next generation of image processing technology at Snapdragon site. The camera has the ability to distinguish and autonomously improve elements like people, hair, clothes, and the sky thanks to an AI-trained neural network. Qualcomm has increased support for innovative sensors like the Samsung's 200 megapixel ISOCELL HP3, leading to collaboration between the two firms. When it comes to gaming, the Snapdragon Elite Gaming has you covered from every angle, and the inclusion of real-time hardware accelerated ray tracing should improve the visual quality of compatible games. In comparison to the 8 Gen 1, the Adreno GPU is up to 25% faster, and the Cryo CPU is up to 40% more efficient. It will also help with battery life, although the S23 Ultra will possibly ship the same battery size as the S22 Ultra, but more on that later. In addition to real-time head tracking, Snapdragon Sound now supports lossless 48kHz files for its spatial audio. The second generation will include improvements to connectivity and security. The second generation Snapdragon 8 will use AI to improve 5G download speeds, latency, coverage, and power consumption. Snapdragon Secure protects everything, so for instance, it can determine if someone is watching over your shoulder and lock the screen if it believes you've abandoned it. Battery Users may expect an average of 4,700 milliamp hours from the Galaxy S23 Plus's 4,565 milliamp hour battery. Theoretically, the Galaxy S23 Ultra can hold 4,855 milliamp hour more juice than it really uses in actuality. Even if batteries don't improve much more, a 5,000 milliamp hour capacity is impressive for a premium smartphone. The S22 Ultra's battery life was so disappointing and we're crossing our fingers that the S23 Ultra's upgraded chipset will allow Samsung to squeeze even more life out of its battery. Well, these aren't the only highlights to look forward to. 
there are more on the way, and we'll show them to you once Qualcomm finishes the summit. What, if any, of these features do you find most appealing? Do you believe Samsung is putting too much emphasis on the camera and not listening to its customers' demands for larger batteries? Feel free to comment and share with us what you think.